Hi everyone, welcome back to the Art of Save Scumming. Today we've got another Total War Warhammer 3 video, and this one is directly from the audience yet again. If you watched my most recent video dealing with the early campaign guide for Slanesh, then you will recognize this sort of layout as where we left off at the end of that guide. Well, in watching that video, many of you said, hey, I would really like to see how you use the Slanesh armies because I'm having a hard time. Uh, and, and one in individual said something along the lines of, I have no idea how it is that you are running around with damaged armies. Uh, if you watch that video, I ran around with armies that Painted. look much more beat up than this the entire time. And they're like, I don't understand how you're winning uh, with armies that are beat up like that uh, consistently. So I think this next battle is going to be a good one. We're either going to get attacked or we're going to do the attacking. It's always better to be the attacker. But uh, in this one, I think we're going to have something to show you because this is going to be a beat-up army with a little bit of diversity in it, but it's kind of par for the course on what you're going to be able to get, especially in the early game. Remember, this is turn 10. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. You wish to join uh, that was to be expected. We knew that that was going to happen. Uh, Tyrion didn't attack me, so that means that uh, we're going to be the attacker over the course of the next turn. Actually, I think that this just became a lot more interesting than I originally intended. This is a prime opportunity to show you guys something that you should leverage whenever you have a chance, regardless of what faction it is, but this is especially useful when we're talking about playing as Nakari. So, as you guys can see, we have a couple fast units here, some chariots, and a whole bunch of marauders. They have elected to raise a second army here and divide their uh, recruitment. The only thing about that, what that does is it allows me to pin this army and its garrison inside of a reinforcement zone. So if I attack this, you'll notice that this says decisive defeat, but I really don't think that's how that's going to go. Uh, but there are some things that we can do to pat ourselves a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're just going to steal a couple of these guys. So the reinforcements are going to come in over here, and our objective is to pin them in place. To do that, we're going to line up all of our forces basically right here. Oh, and don't forget, we're trying to push this channel over a thousand subscribers, so if you feel so inclined, I'd really appreciate it if you would help us attain that monetization goal so we can get these videos out to more people. And it is likely that our units will not be able to pin them directly against this, but what we're probably going to do is pin them sort of like this so that there's an open spot here and we're going to swing the chariots around and try to charge into them and some of our fast units provided we have some that survive the initial contact because we're not going to be able to get there in time we're only going to be able to get pretty close because this whole army has to get there and we only have another minute and a half to get there so we're going to start lining our stuff up and we're just going to kind of approximate it like that and in the meantime, we're going to move our fast units right up there in the face. And we'll put, we'll put that there, that there, and that there. Our archers are going to find their way. They're going to have to be pretty close to the line. We'll put them right there. Because they're going to have problems with the trees. We really took these to deplete the enemy ammunition. They'll do some damage, but our real goal is to get them to use their ammunition and then go put them in melee so that afterwards the enemy can't use them. So what is going on here? Yeah, that troop is definitely not making it. All right, game on. Oh, did we really? Oh, we did. We, oh, no, we didn't. Okay, cool. I thought we kept their reinforcements from coming in there for a second. I was like, no way. <laughs> That's super lucky. So these troops are only gonna last for a short amount of time. So we don't wanna get them lost, but we need to hold the enemy back slightly until our troops get into position. Alright, they gotta come out. 
Jesus. Pain and despair. Because of um, that's a pretty good result. I will take that. Pain and despair. Okay, so what did we what did we lose? I don't think that we really because lost anything. Alright. So what we're gonna do is find points that we can start attacking. None of their missile units are capable of hitting us right now, which is ideal. So we just need to keep them from breaking through. And to do that, first we're going to take our healthiest unit and we're going to find Alistar and go after him. And then on the sides here, we've got cavalry there, so we got a weakened cavalry unit that we can do here. We'll move this around for reinforcements. And then, what about... Ooh, shit. Yeah, get that out of there. Okay, so we're going to have to put that one in the back so that we don't lose it. But these two chariots are going to be able to do stuff over here. So right now, let's go get it. Oh, no, there's cavalry in there. Shoot. That's not going to be very effective. So these archers, we're going to try to put as few trees in the way as possible for them. And then... Uh, maybe... Maybe over here? The chariots aren't super useful in this particular battle. But we did get rid of that cavalry, so now what we can do is start crunching this down. We don't want to let that cavalry get um, uh, caught up. So what we're going to start doing is rolling our resources. We don't know, we don't need this unit to maintain the pressure. And we'll just fire into the flank there. Over here, this flank looks good. Looking pretty strong there. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure what we should do here. This is going to be the tough one to crack. They got Cav and Phoenix Guard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to allocate this right off the bat. Right over there. And we might as well do that as well. And just let these guys kind of hit. Let's see how this doing. Alistar's still at full health. Yeah, these chariots. Uh, maybe this. Yeah, so slow. Eh, it did some damage. Not really happy with it. We want that unit to route. And then as it routes, we're just going to continue to roll units. And we're probably going to need some reinforcements here because it's Phoenix Guard. Let's see. We'll put that there. Let's see here. What can we do? Where's this? Okay, let's see. What can we hit? Let's hit... Let's hit... No, that's Spearman. Where's Phoenix Guard? Phoenix Guard. Okay, so we no longer need this unit. We can roll it up. Let's try to hit that archer unit again. These guys hit the cow so they can't escape. Endless craving. Okay, we got a problem here. We need to put some reinforcements. I'll move those there. All right, cool. Take out the cav. Should probably move them a little bit closer so that they're not obstructed quite as badly. So first the cav, then the uh, phoenix guard. To battle. Sin and depravity. Pain 
So we don't need this anymore. So these guys can be brought to the center. Let's see. Spearmen, those guys. Try to hit these guys with the chariot again. How we doing? Cav is out. Phoenix guard. These guys have pretty heavy uh, melee defense, so it's good that they ended up right in front of the Phoenix guard. Let's see here. I don't think that we really need... Oh, that guy needs to get brought up. Alright, I think we're almost there. Enforcements there. How did that happen? That's a weak target. Oh, we need reinforcements there. On the hunt! Marauders of Slanesh! Souls for Slanesh! Archers! Now, what we want to do next is, as soon as this archer unit runs out of ammunition, we're going to put it in there to fight, because we don't get to keep it after the battle, and any damage that is sustained to it remains. Marauders of Slanesh! Bring us souls! Orders received! Yeah, so they can go in and fight now. This one is going to continue to shoot. So throw this in. Might have to... Oh, crap. Oh, that was a mistake. What do we got here? We got Phoenix Guard and Archers. Beacon of Depravity! Finding fresh souls. Archers! It shall be done! Marauders of Slanesh! Assyrian Lord! On the hunt! We flee! For Assyrian! Hellscourge! To the next victory! Almost there on this unit. And again, any casualties that happen to uh, these archer units are said, really to our benefit actually because then we that damage will be sustained against the enemy army next time so let's start pulling in acknowledged battle calls eternal defender marauders archers we will obey eternal hunters Nothing that really looks vulnerable to cavalry. Looks like they got a whole bunch of spearmen. I'd like to get a shot. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get a shot on this lord here. Alright. Now this one. Swiftly. We're gonna take all the way up and have it fight the Phoenix Guard. And that should do some damage to it. Let's see where we get flank. Okay. Don't really have an open flank. Endless craving. Seekers of Slanash! Spears! Hellscourges! Okay, now we have an open flank. Seekers of Slanash! Yeah, everything is um, anti large that they've got left, so we can't really use a whole lot of our. Uh, We can't use our cab to great effect, and those guys are mixed in against the spearmen, so that's not gonna work. 
I still think that we got this. if we had some magic we can try to do some stuff with these chariots and hope put them at the tall part of the hill there and charge them down see if we can't do some kind of damage we got an open flank there that we can try to hit it's really just important that these units maintain their balance of power at this point in time alright let's see what we can do here Yeah, that didn't do hardly anything. That was super not effective. Archers! It satisfies the We submit. Driven by pain. Alright. We can bring all these forces to bear. What is this? I know it's a Phoenix Guard unit, but there's only a couple of them left. Hopefully the charge will... Yeah, charge routed them. Got it. So let's try and hit that. Do some damage to it. Try to run down whatever we can. These guys... We can... Oh, come on, guys. What are you doing? Ah, he's gonna get away. I'm trying to pin Alistar and keep him from... Oh, they're so ineffective in the in the woods. Let's get the Hell Scourges out of there and hope that these guys will be enough. See what happens. I think he's going to get away, but I might be wrong. Ooh. Can we get him? Oh, I don't know. Got him. Got him. So as you can see, we went from a decisive defeat to a Pyrrhic victory. And you might be like, well, you got a Pyrrhic victory, man. Yeah, but this is a disciple army. So it really doesn't matter because it doesn't cost us anything. It only costs us devotees. And now we've done so much damage to their army. Look at this. Most of this army is missing. Most of this army is missing. So at this point in time, we're pretty much going to be able to walk into the capital city. Or, excuse me, it's not a capital city. We're going to be able to walk into the settlement and basically just take it out. Look, we've, we've got their main guy is, is out. They've got the Phoenix remains, uh, which can be sort of a problem. Most of their archers are gone. Most of the cav is gone. They got one Phoenix Guard unit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You see, like, we're going to crush this. So no replenishment. We might as well take the... We might as well take the devotees. And it looks like this didn't escape. So technically, we can do this again. So, I would fight it again, but because we're going to disband this army anyway, we can now 
ought to resolve this. Wipe out the settlement garrison as well. That's pretty lame. And now we can just walk in. And we have now taken the settlement. We have now eliminated... Uh, Tyrion. You could technically uh, use him as a vassal if you wanted. Uh, that's not how I'm going to be playing this campaign through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this one off because that was a pretty long battle. And that showcased one of the cheesier types of battles that I was not in intending to do. Uh, but what we'll do is when I find another battle where I'm a little bit beat up or I've got a, a situation that looks like perhaps is is one that would be interesting to showcase then i will do that and we'll do another episode but this is one of the ways that you can get over on the ai whenever you see an army stacked outside of a settlement you should look at that as an opportunity particularly with slanesh because their armies are so fast they can almost always get there particularly if you go in and do um, a point or two in lightning strike you can almost always get there. If you got two points in lightning strike, you're basically assured to be able to get there and pin them against the, the barrier. So uh, that's all for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this. See you on another video here at the Art of Safe Scumming.